Once a bill that has received very little attention but may make free speech a felony and seriously restrict your right to political protest, just signed into law by the president, H.R. 347 gives federal agents sweeping powers to arrest and bring felony charges against citizens engaged in protests where the Secret Service is present. Joining us now with more, Fox News senior judicial analyst, good friend, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, the thing that strikes out, jumps out off the page, felony? Yeah, felony means more than a year in jail. This is not like a traffic ticket for standing and protesting. The type of thing that for 230 years Americans took for granted because it was protected by the First Amendment, Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech has actually been abridged. But legislation the president signed last Thursday, supported overwhelmingly by both parties, with very, very little public debate and very little debate in Congress, basically allows Secret Service agents to decide side where there are no free speech zones, not speech zones, no free speech zones. And anybody by the Secret Service, can, protected by the Secret Service, can ask those agents to ban protests wherever they are. So I can think of three violations, speech violations, association violations, the right to petition the government for a redress of your grievances. What good is free speech if the people in the government are so far away from you that they can't hear you? Judge, what about keeping our elected officials safe? Keeping our elected officials safe is entirely different from insulating them from protest. The fact that the president is going to a hotel up the block should not bar you from standing across the street with a sign or with a bullhorn saying what you think about the president's policies. That is not a threat to him, and it is a part of American history since day one that we have the right to speak freely to, about, and against those in the government. Okay, so do you think this is going to be one of those laws that um, is on the books, but not enforced? I think it's one of those laws that's going to be enforced when the government wants it enforced. The problem, Eric, is it is puts a lot of um, unbridled discretion in the hands of Secret Service agents who may very well say, you know what, boss, you've had a rough day. We'll keep everybody away from you. Or, you know what, boss, this crowd likes you, so we're going to let them, uh, we're going to let you hear them. That's uh, suppressing speech on the basis of its content. And that has been expressly prohibited by the First Amendment since day one. What, what dictates the Secret Service is present? In other words, aren't they present all over Washington, D.C.? Well, they are. And that's a great question because this law also allows the president to give Secret Service protection to whoever he wants. I'll give you a bizarre example. His campaign managers are coming to Washington to confer with him about the campaign. He can give them Secret Service protection. And then the Secret Service can say to the kids in the streets, you can't shout at David Axelrod, because the, the campaign manager, because the Secret Service is protecting him. This, this is a slow, creeping destruction of some of our basic liberties, and the president signed it in secret. And now some of the Secret Service are going to be... be uh providing services for the candidates now as well. Right? Correct. So Correct. People aren't going to be able to have their opinion about the candidates? If the Secret Service so declares, you won't be able to shout out. Judge got to go. The economy's not bad. Sorry about that.